Greetings everybody, Socio Doug here with our concluding video with our chapter on sex and gender. Today's topic, heteronormativity. Are you ready to learn? Let's get started. We're going to look at three terms, homophobia, heterosexism, and heteronormativity. Let's start with homophobia, which is defined as an irrational fear or hatred toward the LGBTQ community. This word, of course, has been around a long time. I'm sure everybody is familiar with it. We also have heterosexism, which is one of the isms similar to racism and sexism. This is bias and discrimination directed toward LGBTQ persons due to a belief in heterosexual superiority. Similar to racism, where people of color are discriminated against, or sexism, where women are discriminated against, heterosexism is a form of discrimination against the LGBTQ community. And then lastly, we have uh, a more current term, heteronormativity, which is this idea that um, the cultural belief that everyone is assumed to be heterosexual until proven otherwise. What this means is if you look at our cultural messaging, whether it's movies, television shows, things that are shared online, um, magazine uh, advertisements, pictures, um, people are seen in heterosexual relationships for the most part. Of course, this is changing uh, rapidly and has changed significantly over the last several years, but most of the images and information and messages we consume in our culture are designed to um, celebrate uh, heterosexual relationships and heterosexual people and um, put uh, sexual minorities kind of on the fringe uh, of our culture. Uh, but as I said, this has changed significantly over the last several years, particularly as the Supreme Court legalized marriage equality across uh, all 50 states. We have come to see uh, much more equal representation with uh, the LGBTQ community as opposed to um, the past. Here's some statistics I'd like to share with you. The LGBTQ youth attempt suicide at three times the rate of their straight counterparts. LGBTQ victimization increases the likelihood of self-harm by two and a half times. LGBTQ youth who come from rejecting families are 8.4 times more likely to have attempted suicide, and trans youth death by suicide is 41% 41 per, 41 compared to 4.6% of the general population. So what do you say? Let's all be kind. <clears throat> it costs us nothing. And as a review, homophobia, heterosexism, and heteronormativity. And that's going to do it for this video. It's going to bring us to our code word. And the code word is equality. Make a note of that. Be sure to enter that into your Canvas assignment. And that's going to do it for now. Thanks for checking in.